Hey internet. All right, all right. So I heard your questions about what was on my lips in my Lush haul video. I got so many questions about that because red lips are exciting and they are hard, especially if you work in an office environment or you're trying to pull off that like casual effortless Parisian look and you don't want it to be like all up in everywhere. I have a couple of favorites that are in different shade families and kind of different techniques and these are kind of my tools for achieving that look. So if you want to know what I had on my lips in my Lush haul, this is it. This is Bite Beauty's lip pencil in the color Tannin. It's a high pigment pencil. Um, that's what they call it and it is absolutely true. There's so much pigment in this. You hardly need any. I've had it for a year and a half and there's still quite a bit left although I've used it a lot. You can see it's kind of gotten all over the lid. It's kind of gross. Um, but this is just awesome for achieving that kind of darker red look. Um, it's exactly the same color as that pigment from drinking red wine on the inside of your lips. So the Tannin name is really actually very very accurate. Um, on my lips I think it's a really nice color because it really kind of gives you that very dark look without being overly vampy. This isn't that really goth fashion-y look. It's a little more subtle than that. Recently during my week of office outfits videos, I did this outfit that was kind of very fashion you but not too much and so I had a red lip on and it was just such a great day of fashion for me I really enjoyed it I had this shiny necklace I got so many compliments at work um, I was really wearing and rocking that bright red lip look that is just like really really going for it and my way of doing that in a way that I sort of feel safe will wear really well throughout the day without looking messy or being something I need to worry about is doing a lip liner and a lip balm and I feel like Lip liners have gotten a bad rep, like, both in the 80s and now, because in the 80s, like, people wore, like, just the outline and that looks terrible, and then now it's just being overused to kind of create those horrible kind of fish lips that I can't stand. Um, but if you use it like a normal person and you stick within your lip line or just just over it um, and then fill your lips in, use it basically exactly like a lipstick. It's actually such a great tool for creating a red lip look. So this is the Hourglass Panoramic Lip Liner in Icon. I think the Hourglass ones are really great and creamy. They're less expensive than their lipsticks. Still a pricey choice, um, but I find that it's worth it for a lip liner because you want it to be really creamy and not overly drying, although this one is definitely more of a matte look. I really like that it comes with a brush as well on the other side. And what I do to sort of make it more comfortable and a little more shiny and less matte is I use a lip balm over it. And I use Sugar's Cherry because I think these are really nice and moisturizing. It also smells really, really nice and it's full of natural, um, really sort of emollient ingredients. It's got this really pretty color as well. If you want something that's just like a lip balm, red lip look, this would be a great option too. You can definitely pair your lip liner with a just plain transparent lip, lip balm, but what happens with that is you end up wrecking it because then it's all that kind of weird mottled readiness going on in it, whereas if I use this one, it doesn't kind of do anything to it because it's already red anyway. So this has been my favorite combination to create those really bold fire engine red lips over the last couple of months and the holiday season as well if you saw me with red lips throughout my kind of Christmas videos. This was probably what I was wearing. For a drugstore favorite, I think this performs well and above many like high-end, really expensive, long-wearing red lipsticks. This is Maybelline Superstay 14-hour lipstick. Doesn't last for 14 hours, but it does leave a gorgeous stain on your lips. It wears very evenly, and it's not too, too drying, especially compared to a lot of other long-wear formulas. I think Maybelline did an awesome job on this line. They're all really great, um, but the color 060 Continuous Cranberry is especially flattering. It's kind of like um, a Russian red dupe to me if you've ever used Max Russian red but it's actually a little bit easier to put on it's a little bit more um, kind of pigmented and easy to smooth on than Russian red is it's just easier to work with um, and it's one of those gorgeous blue toned reds if you have um, more of a pinky skin tone this is going to be especially flattering although I think it's enough of a classic red that anybody can wear it. I really recommend this if you just want kind of a cheap option because you know you're not going to wear red lipstick that often. This is your friend. 
For those of you who kind of want to wear, wear red lipstick but kind of don't and are kind of sitting on the fence, I've definitely been there and I have an option for you. This is Ysel's Rouge Pure Couture in the color 04, definitely a more expensive pick, but I think it's a really good pick because you're going to end up wearing this bad boy so, so much. I use this as a stain and as a lipstick. It actually lives in my desk at work. I had to go and retrieve this, especially for this video, but I knew that if I was going to film this kind of red lipstick favorites, this had to be my easy to wear favorite because it's the one that's easiest to pull out, off out of all of these because as I'm sure you can see, it is more of a brick toned red, more of a brown red. I think this would look gorgeous on any olive skin tone, but it also looks really nice with a pinky skin tone because it definitely has a good amount of pink and brown in it as well as that kind of red um, sort of overall look. I'm probably really confusing you here. But what I'm trying to say is this is the easiest red lipstick you will ever come across and the pigmentation to this is amazing. It wears and applies gorgeously and it's really one of my all-time favorite lipsticks full stop and um, I really can't live without this. Um, it's just such a nice lipstick. I hope you guys are liking this series. Give it a thumbs up if you are and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video on Friday. Bye!